Hello, peacekeepers! This time around, from the movie's Den 2023, I brought to you the recap and review of the critically acclaimed thriller from 2021, Killer Grades. Before we get right to it, let me once again remind you to subscribe to the channel for amazing videos as these, and to keep sharing and liking them. Here we go! Killer Grades, a cautionary tale about the terrifying consequences that result from the relentless drive to achieve academic success, provides a window into the frustrated psyche of a student. This suspenseful film is directed by Jose Montesinos, known for the films Frenzy and Sinister Minister. It centers on Michelle, a bright student who works tirelessly to earn a spot on the academic decathlon squad. Michelle's mother Catherine is proud of her daughter's accomplishments, as is typical of any sensible mother out there. However, when a student ends up in the hospital and her father is discovered dead, murdered, and stashed in a car trunk, things start to go horribly wrong. Catherine is immediately alerted by this and quickly sees that there is a problem with this group, despite their seeming success and innocence. This movie was mostly filmed in Los Angeles during the coronavirus lockdown under stringent safety regulations. The film, which is entirely fictitious, does a remarkable job of capturing the primary issue of the concern with grades over kids' emotional health and well-being. The screenplay was written by Dave Hickey and Scott Collette. Megan Ashley Brown, who plays Michelle, the intelligent young student whose excellent grades earn her a spot on the decathlon squad, leads the brilliant cast of killer grades. The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It and Blood Brothers are the two movies that the Jacksonville-born actress is best known for. Catherine, Michelle's mother, is portrayed by a lifetime regular and star of the television show Saving My Daughter, Recipe for Abduction, and The Walking Dead. Liz Fenning, who plays Wendy Catherine's co-worker, Angelina Folino, who plays Carrie, a student who is obsessed with grades, Zach Gold, who plays Mr. Lou, the movie's antagonist, Isabella Marquez Johnson, who plays Sarah, whose father is mysteriously murdered, and Emma Nosfell, who plays Amy, round up the cast. In order to reach a predetermined objective, whether it be personal, parental, or social, the story examines the horrifying moral degradation and realistic consequences of academic pressure. The concept is very relevant to contemporary society, as evidenced by the rise in mental health problems among students as a result of the constant pressure to compete with others in the academic arena for a share of a successful transformation in the future. Children from all over the world believe that getting good marks will lead to success in the future. One of the kids, Carrie, is driven to achieve because she views the team as her ticket into one of the most exclusive universities in the world. Michelle's mother believes that Michelle's participation on the team that competes to determine which school has the smartest students would lead to many wonderful opportunities for her daughter in the future. The truth is that while academics help one achieve in life, they are not the only factor. For instance, there are
are many prosperous people in Hollywood who dropped out of school and are now quite successful. An ill-intentioned senior student frequently makes these already tense circumstances in schools worse. This film's Mr. Liu, the coach of the academic decathlon squad, is portrayed by Zach as the bully in the classroom. The latter encourages kids to do well in their coursework and won't hesitate to use whatever means required to make sure the students succeed no matter what. It's interesting to note that Mr. Liu isn't immediately recognizable as the bad guy because he is incredibly kind and helpful, a fantastic motivational speaker, and his outward appearance is as innocent as it gets. However, underneath this innocent exterior lies a damaged young adult who harbors resentment towards the team he once belonged to in the past. One basic criterion that Mr. Liu has for the team is that the final grade must be consistent. This means that regardless of how well each student performs individually, the team's final grade is determined by whichever grade is lowest. Although it may appear unfair, this is done to promote teamwork and ensure that everyone is pulling in the same direction in order for the group to succeed. The pressure of being a member of the squad wears on the students. Mr. Liu is always there to assist the children because he wants to win at any costs, not by teaching them extra lessons, but by providing them medicines instead. One medication reduces anxiety, while the other aids with concentration. Although it is unlawful to give medications to children, the teacher takes care to thoroughly explain the directions. Michelle's grade begins to slip because of what happened to her friend Sarah, and just as she's about to leave the team, Lou offers her the shortcut on the condition that she keeps it a secret from her mother. Michelle is forced by an awakening to put two and two together, and she learns that everything that has been happening, including the deaths, is connected, and the enemy is far closer than she could have imagined. The graphics are all right. The city is frequently cut away in the movie, serving as a constant reminder of where the action is happening. One can easily distinguish between daytime and nighttime in the sceneries because to the effect of lighting. The zoom-ins to Michelle's face every time she takes the pills paired with heightened sounds aids the audience to experience what the character is going through at the moment. Additionally, the score functions flawlessly, rising when unexplainably shady occurrences take place and falling when everything is calm. The antagonist's face is never shown. We only see the hands when someone breaks into Michelle's home. Audiences become curious because we are never shown who killed Wendy, hit Sarah's father in the head, or shoved another kid in front of a speeding car in the opening scene. When Mr. Lou visits Michelle's house and holds her mother hostage with a knife to her throat, the score also keeps the heart racing. The action is incredibly intense and fast-paced because of the frequent cuts. The actors gave an excellent performance.
As the lead, Brown did a fantastic job of delivering touching scenes. As the kind, loving mother, Fortier excelled, as the condescending bitch, Carrie was spot on, and as the seemingly innocent looking caring teacher, Zach Gold was stunning. One of Jose Montesino's most commercially successful movies is arguably Killer Grades. The issue is as relevant to contemporary culture as it is possible to be, and the screenplay is masterfully written. The ensemble cast also delivers superb performances. One can't help but sneer at Mr. Lu's fixation on the decathlon, though. The drama, tension, and mystery will keep you on the edge of your seat, so it is definitely time well spent. you have enjoyed this recap and review session. For more amazing content, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Comment below to let me know what you think of this movie. Until I see you again, take care and peace out. Thanks for watching.